Hello, darlings. It's been a while, but your girl is back for a little bit at least. Um, today's video is kind of not a happy video. Um, I kind of owe all you guys an explanation for whoever has me on Facebook, whoever has me on Insta, whoever has um, me on Insta, or whoever is following my other Instagram account, CNK International. This is a very, very overdue video. Um, kind of haven't been, haven't been honest with you guys, I guess, in a way. I just haven't really opened up to people about this, um, other than close friends and close family. They all, they all know what went down and what was happening in my life for the past year or so. Um, so it was quite some time. Um, I guess I should just get the cat out of the bag initially and just explain what kind of a video, well, if you guys click on, you already know what kind of a video this is. Huh? So basically, me and my Korean boyfriend, we broke up. So he is now my ex-boyfriend. Um, so there we go. <laughs> this may sound really harsh, but I know some ways to fast track myself and just to get over things. And I just, I really want to grow from this experience. This experience, um, the experience I had with him, it taught me a lot. It really did. I learned some, some things about myself and I've learned some life, life lessons for sure. Um, we, we were having problems. I'm not speaking from his point of view, but speaking from my point of view, I think when we moved in together, that's kind of when things didn't uh, didn't go so good. Um, it, you really just, when you move in with someone, you get to know them from a totally different perspective. Like you get to know their habits and you get to know their routines because you're cohabitating with this person now. You actually find out more than when you guys just see each other like um, at each other's houses or like I know you guys can stay together but once you're actually like living together once you're actually with that person for not like most of the day because you guys have their lives you guys have your own life but like when you have the experience of actually living with somebody you find out a lot about that person and sometimes you don't find out great things and you find out about who who they are as an actual person you find out their their real true self um, so that reality is kind of hard I mean it sucks it's necessary to go through but it sucks when you actually find um, out I was really wondering how much I should actually talk about in this video like I didn't know if I wanted to go into specifics because a lot of people don't know so I don't think I'm gonna share a lot of details because we kind of had a mutual breakup in a way. Um, we both just agreed that at the end of the day, we are on two different paths and our lives were just in two different directions and that because of behaviors that weren't being changed, we just, mostly on my part, I mean, I, I broke up with him. I ended things, but I mean, things, things were going that way anyways I think I I didn't want to I didn't want to accept that I really didn't want to because for me I'm very loyal as a person and if I love someone if I'm very committed to that person I will stay for the long run but sometimes even if you love someone you have to realize at the end of the day that sometimes loving someone and putting up with the way that they treat you or the things that they do it means that you don't love yourself as a person and you want to love yourself I mean you have you at the end of the day you have to always take care of you because you have you you're always gonna be with yourself and if you're not taking care of yourself like things are going downhill so just basically what I will say is I he just he had some struggles with alcohol and that made me really concerned for our future together and I didn't feel safe and I didn't feel secure and I didn't feel stable with that fact. And I kind of put up with one too many in incidents 
that involved you know him not being able to really kind of control himself when he's been drinking and honestly it just guys it was it wasn't a good experience um but I I have I still have I still wish him happiness like I just I want him to be happy in his life he's going through some things right now so I don't want if he finds this on YouTube I don't want I don't want you to think that I have any ill feelings of you like I I still have so much love for you but unfortunately just with the way things are like I do still wish you the best but yeah, I mean, that, I yeah. also just wanted to add this part too, just in case you guys were like, oh, well, she's saying so much stuff about this other person, but she's not even saying things about herself or like owning up to anything. Like, you're not perfect. Yes, I am aware. I had my own things in the relationship that I really tried hard to change, but you know, sometimes it's really hard to change negative behaviors or behaviors that annoy your partner right away and um one of the biggest things for him was just that I he was concerned about my emotions because I am a very emotional person and I do have anxiety as well and I'm just I'm more sensitive than some people out there and sometimes it's just really hard for me to control my emotions and he just thought that like I wasn't working on things fast enough I wasn't changing fast enough I wasn't working on emotional control fast enough or good enough um so yeah I had things in the relationship as well it wasn't just on his end but at the same time you know when you guys have your own stuff what's not cool is if a person actually just says that they're just gonna stop trying because you aren't you aren't changing or you know like I I was really really trying hard to to change th certain things and to please him which isn't necessarily a good thing on its own but you know just when someone actually just says I just I don't want to try anymore and you feel like it's because of you like they don't want to try because of you like that honestly guys like I can't even I can't even like put into words how much that just hurts um, another another complaint that he had about me was that I always took things personally because I am more of an emotional person but it's really kind of hard to to not take things personally especially when you feel like you're being talked down to and degraded so that's always fun right I mean I don't know how people get words out when they do videos like this I just it's like words are words but I also think it's because I have to kind of be limited with the the information that I say just because it is more of a sensitive matter and um, a lot of people don't know really what was going on in our relationship nor do I want some people to know um so if you guys do want to know more details about what happened with us you can dm me on my instagram sujin's life and i'd be more than happy to answer your questions um i still have our um instagram account up cnk international so probably if anyone that follows me on CNK International are going to see this, they're going to kind of be shocked or I might like make a post on it or I might make a personal announcement on my Insta page for that. Um, I also still have my, our YouTube channel, CNK International on YouTube, but we just had one video together. So I think I'm just going to leave that one up. Um, I'm not usually the type to delete many things after a breakup. Like some things I will delete and get rid of other things for me it's like that was a big part of my life that happened I'm not trying to cover it up um I'm stronger from that experience so I, I keep I keep that around so I know like how far I've come and what I've been through and just things I had to over overcome and just it's part of my life too so if I'm erasing pictures of us I'm also erasing me I'm erasing my past I'm erasing my history so sometimes with me that's usually why I keep some pictures up 
Um, but yeah, so I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, I think I should make a separate video explaining just kind of things that have happened since then. Um, I will tell you guys that he went back to Korea in September. And at first it was going really well until October-ish. And he suggested maybe having an open relationship, which we did do for a time. Um, but at first I was uncomfortable with that suggestion. And it was only one of the options that we could have done. Like there were other options. There are things that we could have explored as well. Um, but basically at the end of the day, I did choose an open relationship because for me, like, I I just didn't want to be the one to end it. Like, ending, ending it sucks. Like, you don't want to be the one to break someone's heart. I mean, your heart's already breaking and then you have to break someone else's heart too. Like, I really, I really just wanted him to break up with me, but I felt like it wasn't exactly going in that direction and... Basically, even though we are in an open relationship, like things, when we had lived together, things, things weren't really going well. I was, I wasn't myself and like I was willing to make it work after he went back to Korea, but then uh, kind of what made me realize and what was a turning point for me and what really made me kind of finally say okay I I can't I can't deal with this anymore I can't I can't do this I can't put up with this bullshit um he had and there was another alcohol incident from Korea so he basically called me up or yeah he called me up and he was drinking and he was kind of you know being nasty on the phone and it was just kind of like oh things things haven't changed, things are still the same, and, like, he would always say, not that I don't believe him, because in the end, he was kind of taking some steps, and I really, I really hope that he continues taking those steps, like, I want him to be better as a person, I want him to be okay, I, I still, you know, kind of worry a little bit, but, um, he would always say like, oh, I'm so sorry that I'm not quick to change this. Like this is, I'm trying and it just, it felt, it started feeling like an excuse. Like, yeah, you say you're trying, but then you, you keep doing it. And this is a big thing. This isn't like a small thing. This could impact my future, your future. If we ever had kids together, this could potentially impact their future. And I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Like I, I couldn't. I'm I'm at the point in my life where I just I can't put up with bullshit like I no I can't I can't deal with it that's that's basically it like I know what I deserve as a person I finally know what I deserve as a person and I just I knew I needed to take care of myself love myself grow myself and that I would just get stronger from this ex experience and I did um, when I officially broke up with him though it wasn't until January so not too long ago but I think in my heart like though I had a lot of love for this person like I my heart had kind of been changing before that so I mean yeah <laughs> that's that's um that's what happened that's what it is in life you know things happen things change sometimes for the better but I'm sorry that I was so so late to just tell you guys if you didn't know um I was even debating like whether or not I should make this video because for me it's kind of like sometimes I don't I don't say what's going on and I just, I move on from it. I move on from the drama, but I do want to make more videos and I want to share more with you guys. Like I shouldn't be as private as I am. I want to vlog more. I just want to, I want to share the tea with you guys. So, um, you guys drop me a comment. 
uh, DM me if you guys want more details, but basically the biggest thing for me was um, the alcohol stuff. Um, there was another thing. Um, I felt like he didn't necessarily take moving to the next step in our life or like um, getting getting to the next step. I felt like he wasn't always serious about it. Um, about like proposing or marriage like he always used to make kind of insensitive jokes or like would crack jokes and for me that's that's a big thing that's a big thing for me engagement the topic of engagement is a very big big thing for me and it's a little bit sensitive so the fact that he kind of didn't take it seriously all the time kind of made me question question things like is he serious about this? Um, does he want this? Things like that. So, yeah, but I'm going to end this video because I feel like it's probably too long unless I edit a lot of the stuff out because I know I flubbed a bunch. But, like, I mean, this is this is hard. This is a hard thing to talk about. Sometimes when it's when it comes to more serious things, you have to really be, be more conscious and, and careful with, with your words. So... Considering a lot of people also didn't know details about it. So, I mean, that's kind of why. But yeah, I will. I, I am more open to share information with you guys. So just let me know or I can make a, another video about this and, and share more details. Do a more thorough rundown of things. But um, until next time, lovelies, um, I'll see you later. Bye.